Katch Anon the Director General of the Heritage Center, joins us to look at this matter from our Abuja studios. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, from our discussion, uh, you were at the tribunal yesterday, but leading up to all of this, uh, looking at uh, uh, the antecedents uh, uh, of uh, the emergence of uh, the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, uh, how does that play out when you now put that side by side by uh, call for Nigerians uh, that everyone should go out and declare their assets publicly, even though that's not uh, the, the constitutional provision? That's not demanded by the Constitution, I meant to say. Well, about the government of those assets, yes, I was at the tribunal yesterday. We've had the times when we've been accused from 1999 till date about 18,600 declarations of these assets to the Code of Conduct Tribal, uh, the Bureau. And of those 18,600, you had a former head of the Code of Conduct Bureau say that they do not have the staffers to actually do this proper national administration of this declaration. So what you're now seeing is uh, the Code of Conduct uh, pool becomes uh, a pool where anybody can go pick anyone's name that he wants to witch hunt. And so what you're seeing right now is because... The Senate of the Federal Republic made the offense of trying to assert its independence, which is allowed under our constitution due to the envisaging of the separation of powers from the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary, as the Senate now did in place its own independence by electing its own leadership against the instructions of some faceless godfathers, uh, the Senate is being punished. That's just all. So, yes, those code of conduct declarations are there in law. But ask yourself, how many persons, me and you know, that the biggest scam, the biggest perpetrators of corruption in Nigeria exist in the civil service? And we know who are the people at the civil service. These are the people that Buhari say are good, that politicians are noisemakers. So that also brings us to the fundamental of what is causing this trouble. Okay, a, a group of people from the political party, and that political party went to an election, won an election. It got to time to recognize everybody that were contributors towards that victory. No, what do we have? A replay of General Buhari's mindset back to 1983 when he came in through a military coup and then sought to remove everybody who did that coup together with him, and in being afraid, Mr. they did that. Mr. very quickly, let me put this. Let me remind you. The recall is under, the judiciary is under attack simply because it sought to assert its independence. I mean, uh, the legislature, and that is all. The legislature's <laughs> only offense Mr. Yes, Arnold, because you, you, you let us bring our questions in very quickly here. I recall that the presidency had also issued a statement categorically saying that they have no hand whatsoever in uh, the travails of the Senate president. So where do you have your uh, facts by asking or by saying that uh, the president, especially uh, President Mohamed Bari, uh, is uh, playing out a script uh, as in uh, far we back 1983? You know very well, President Mohamed Buhari has never been known historically to keep anything he says. That I he don't published know. a covenant with Nigerians. He has denied it. He promised, remember during uh, the time running up to the elections, all that the APC promised in the debate that Alai Mohammed had with me, all he said is they have denied orders. So a president who swore to be president of Nigeria, but when he started making nominations, has now started playing king of a section of the country. So this man is a man who historically is known for double speaking. Uh, Buhari says what he does not mean, it's and that's why we're saying the democracy is under threat. It's amazing. It, it, it is really amazing that you, you, you've put this argument, uh, well, uh, before the presidency. One would have thought it, that... These are uh, the facts. These are the facts before all of us. This is the truth. He made the covenant with Nigerians. He denied it. He said in 100 days he will show performance, and 100 days when there's nothing to show, he denied it. Everything does, that does, does he has this. said, he has so, for him to also can you, deny it, can you for a fact can you for matter. a fact give us any kind of link uh, between the presidency and what is happening 
uh, to the Senate president. The president has, since election, five months plus ago, not been able to make appointments that, uh, as he took over, those appointments that are supposed to come to the Senate for confirmation. He has not brought them. Because of why he does not like the leadership that were elected by the Senate in its effort to assert its autonomy. And because of this, the president has also told us he will bring ministers. But me and you know this is the end of September. Nothing is going to come. All he is doing is, because he does not like the emergence of the National Assembly's autonomy, he does not want to respect the laws to present those people who he has nominated for Senate confirmation. This is in line with it. So no matter what he says, it is very glaring for all of us to know. And that's why people like me are insisting that the democracy is under threat when the Mr. legislature Manu, you... is being emasculated in this form, simply because of why it sought to assert its autonomy. And Mr. Manu, this is Manu, I, I think I think a, a moment here, because I still want us to go back to the matter. That is why I specifically asked the question, because we have to situate it. We're looking at... Uh, the Code of Conduct Bureau uh, and the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, talking about uh, the alleged uh, false declaration of assets and the matter uh, before the Code of Conduct Tribunal. It would seem that you uh, are very comfortable, much more comfortable, discussing the presidency in this matter instead of looking because at the... Because the presidency is the person in charge of what's going on. Don't the presidency forget, is not the, uh, the presidency or the president is not the one... Uh, uh, Saraki is before. No, no, no. Uh, the, the executive is headed by the presidency. The Code of Conduct Bureau and all those other arms, you've heard what the lawyer said. That bureau is not in Schedule 6. So it's not a part of the Superior Court. These are part of the things that we have seen historically politicians can use to witch hunt those that they perceive to be enemies. Don't forget how this started. The uh, first time uh, uh, Bukola Saraki's wife was called to the AFCC. Secondly, a, 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 a non-existence uh, case of uh, adulteration of papers was raised against uh, the senators who sat down on the very day that the eighth Senate commenced. And then that didn't come anything. The second one, you now saw the attack on uh, Senator Pabio. So the fourth one now is directed at the Senate president. Why all this litany of attacks? Ask yourself. Are the legislators the only politicians in this? You've also heard what the president said, that his, his partners, the politicians, are noisemakers. Now, this is what we are looking at, the fundamentals. A lot of people gathered to go and get something done, and that's a victory. Now we sit down to try to share the loot of that victory. Now, what do we have? A replay of the president's mindset going back to 1983. So if you look at the history of what General Buhari did when he came into power, President, when President partners, Muhammad uh, Buhari, this is a, just a uh, replay catch, of that. Catch on, on you, uh, let's uh, recall that uh, he's the president, President Muhammad Buhari, not General Muhammad Buhari. Uh, because I'm trying to see the nexus in all of this. That's why it's quite uh, collects, difficult to understand. He pension as General Muhammad Buhari. This is, the, this is what he brings to the table. He's the president of Nigeria today, yes. So, of course, like Obasanjo was president, he was also a general. You do not remove a man's credentials just because he tells you, I am now, uh, I'm wearing a blue shirt. No. Who is he wearing a blue shirt? Okay, that's uh, probably a Chelsea player. But that's what you are, first and foremost. Mr. Andrew, the truth is that a man tells you how he wants to be addressed, and it will be good to respect the man and abide by what he says. This is how I want to be addressed. Don't forget be that, that as it may. Harry I'd also he, like to advise so that we apply because some because level of caution of Nigeria. here. He belongs to all of us. He could say one thing, but when he does other things, we have to honestly hold him to those things that he does. He said that he's going to be president of all. He will be what? A property of nobody and property of all. What has he done? In his appointment, he has shown nepotism by not appointing a single person from the southeast. Dr. Ananuju, that itself is sociological corruption. So it's a different thing from if what I a man said. If I may come in here, 